so hello everyone so welcome again to this youtube channel so today we are going to cover uh, this very amazing topic that is that how we can run a maven project from command line so we are going to run it from the command line so before moving to the topic we have some uh, prerequisites so let's get to the prerequisites then so here are some prerequisites before we run a maven project from command line so first is maven should be installed on the system so maven if you are not aware about the maven so maven is build management tool and there's also one another build management tool that is gradle as well so here we are using maven okay so maven should be installed in the system if it is not installed in the system you can simply install it from the internet and then you can simply hit the command uh, let me show you this okay so here i want to check if maven is installed in the system or not so this is the command you can check if maven is installed or not so you can see here that i have installed the maven already so this is the first prerequisite so the second prerequisite is that you should have any maven java project either you can uh, create a new maven java project or you should you can import it if you already have in your system so we are going to cover in, uh, in this uh, from the scratch we are going to create a new project from the scratch so let me show you that so currently i opened uh, eclipse and uh, now i have to create a new maven project simply go to new then other then simply write maven then maven project then select any folder or you can simply create a new folder as well so i'm creating the new folder press ping okay so i selected this folder then next so here you need to type org dot archive dot maven and then simply click on this quick start okay here you need to give any name you can give here maven demo okay then you just finish it okay so now we have created a new maven project maven java project specifically so if i open this project i'll directly go to form xml so i'll see so we have already maven uh, uh, show file plugin compiler plugin so you, you don't need to uh, separately inst uh, add the plugin into uh, POM xml form xml so it is already by default when you create a maven project so you will get these plugins by default so uh, i'll tell you specifically about this maven maven surefire plugin so what exactly the role of maven surefire plugin is this is pretty important so i'll tell you in the later phase when we'll we'll start executing the test cases so here we got dependency of junit okay so i'll add more dependencies let me show you so we need uh, dependencies different dependencies okay let me google it out first so we need selenium maven dependency first go just google it out selenium java dependency and just click here and it is going to copy automatically now here i'm adding selenium dependency first okay so now we need a web driver manager dependency that also i'm going to search it out here web driver maven dependency just open any of this just click here it is going to copy automatically just paste it okay so now we have added two new dependencies one is selenium java dependency and other is web driver manager okay so here uh, we are using jjunit as a testing framework so you can use testng whatever framework you want i'm just taking example of jjunit here okay so these are the dependencies that we have already uh, added in or pom xml okay let's go to the source test dot java okay so here we have by default they have created one class so let's go to first uh, what what were the last uh, what was the last prerequisite that we need to run let's go so so the second uh, prerequisite was that we have to create or we should have any maven java project we have already created it uh, last year i have saw uh, so 
third is project should have any testing framework that we have already have a, a J unit over there. So all the prerequisite we have already covered. So let's get started with how we can run the project from A1. Uh, so first thing is whenever you are running project uh, Maven project from command line, so it is always going to look for the test that are under source test or Java folder. It is going to look only for the tests that are under these folders and it is always going to look for at the rate test annotation okay so that's why we this is must that we should have uh, any testing framework either JUnit or either test ng so this is the this is the thing okay so let's make it first executable okay let's just start with simple sysout test one okay so let's see if we can run it from the command line or not okay so so you have this test okay so now what you need to do is you need to go to the folder where exactly this project is on the system so here the project is uh, here so you can simply click here so it is going you to navigate to the uh, folder where project is located on the system so so before running maven project the thing that you need to do is you need to navigate to the path of form XML of that specific project. So I came here, I saw that okay, the form XML is here. So I'll just simply from the this navigation bar, I'll simply click command. So if you see here that I have already reached the location of form XML. So I'll simply write maven dot test. So this is the command that is going to look for the test cases under the folder I'll show you the folder under the this source test Java folder it is going to look for all the test under source test dot Java folder so let's hit it it should now run the test that we have created over there okay see here it, it printed test one so we have successfully executed uh, the test case from the maven uh, maven project from the command line okay so let's see what are the other combinations that we can run from the command line so in this video we are going to cover a different combinations so in this video we are going to cover a different combinations that we can run from the command line okay so run all test classes okay so this is basically that we already just uh, executed uh, using maven test command so maven test command will execute all the test classes that are under source test java folder okay so first one is done that i have already shown you so how to run a single test class and how to run a single test method from the test class if you want to run a specific single test class or if you want to run a specific single test method from specific test class that how we can do that so here come the role of maven surefire plugin so that why we have installed it in the form.xml that i have shown you so maven surefire plugin is basically if you want to specify the test that you want to run from command line there come the role of maven surefire plugin uh, with with that you can do parameterization otherwise if you simply write maven dot maven test it is going to run all the test cases under source test java folder okay so when you have maven surefire plugin you can simply parameterize it so okay let's get started let's see how we can run single test class okay okay so we have got this one app test class let me just copy this and simply paste it under the same folder so now we go to uh, we go two classes so let me write in the second class some uh, selenium code setup then we can simply that driver driver is equal to new on driver okay then simply navigate to on a url let's say it's google simply says out after that so that we can see that it, it 
code complete. You can write press code complete. Okay, let's save it. So now we have two classes app test in which simply I did write it as test one. Let's make it more fancy. So we have two classes app test in which we are simply printing test one and other is app test two in which we are we are we have selenium code we are opening the chrome driver and then we are navigating to the google.com okay now i simply want to run this app test two class so how i can do that i don't want to run app test test this one i want to run uh, where i have write the selenium code so first thing that i have to go to the location of the project simply then to where uh, pomac.xml file is located then simply command then simply write maven here d is used for, to do parameterization and uh, here you need to write d test is equal to name of the class a p f test we want to run two test two and then simply test so if you see here this is uh, the thing that is uh, telling you that okay which class i want to run using maven test command okay so d wherever you see hyphen d it means that this test is parameterized so d test is equal to here i have given the name of the class that i want to run okay so now it should open the chrome driver and it should navigate to the google let's see okay see it is saying that okay see it executed the second one because we have parameterized it okay let me close it here and you can see that okay i have also sys out the code complete okay let's get back to the eclipse suppose i want to run this app test 2 or app test 1 what i have to do is simply go to the properties here by parameterization i want to do that this is command here maven hyphen d test is equal to app test Now it should simply sys out the first test that we have. Okay, this is already executed the test one. So that's how we can run a single specific class using parameterization. That only is pos possible if we have Maven Surefire plugin in our form.xml. Okay, so let's see what is the other combination that we can we want to run. So we have already covered this test class all test classes and run a single test class using parameterization now we want to run a single test method from a particular test class so let's cover this one as well okay. so now the third case was that i want to run a specific method from specific test class so suppose let me just copy this let me just paste it here and i'll change here test one and I'll just simply remove this selenium code and here second code complete I'll, I have written here okay so if you see here that I have a class app test 2 in which I have two test test 2 and test 1 so now I, now I want to run a particular test 1 from the app test 2 how can I do that so again the first thing is we have to navigate to the project location and to the form.xml here and simply write cmd and here maven for parameterization hyphen d then test then is equal to the name of the class app test 2 and then hash the name of the method test 1 then space test so again see the command d test is parameterization it is noting the parameterization here app test is the class app test 2 is a class name and then I have hash then name of the uh, method okay that you want to run then test let's see it should print whatever we have written in that test see second code complete so we have run the specific 
test method from a specific class okay suppose if i want to run test 2 it should open uh, the chrome driver because we have written the selenium code in that see it opened the chrome driver so that's how we can do parameterization uh, using different different commands that's obviously possible due to maver shortfront plugin okay so we have already covered all three uh, these combinations that we want to run uh, from the command line okay so i have added the commands here for more clarification okay this is maven.test so this is basically if you want to run a single test class then you have to put hyphen d test is equal to the class name that you want to run okay and uh, if you want to run a specific test method from specific class then simply d test is equal to class name then hash and then the method name okay these all examples we have already covered i hope you like this video please do share and subscribe this channel thank you